Virtual reality games may be good for patients recovering from strokes. Our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandi, is here now to explain this new research. Hey, Doc. Hey, anyway, this is awesome. It's a European study of 120 stroke patients, and it found virtual reality games actually fared just as well as traditional physical therapy when it came to improved hand and arm function. Now, these games were adapted to each person's ability and involved different scenarios like grasping moving objects or steering a car or plane. On average, improvements were seen in patients with both mild and severe impairments. All right, so that looks very cool, but can this replace physical therapy? So Dave, I don't think it should replace physical therapy, but you know, it can be used to motivate patients to get in more sessions. Also, larger studies, I feel, are needed to see how it affects people in the long run. I know firsthand how a stroke can change a person's life as my late father you know, suffered one and devastated him. Unfortunately, stroke is very common. Every 40 seconds, someone suffers a stroke, and every four minutes, a person unfortunately dies because of it. So here's a look at my prescriptions on helping others lower the risk of stroke. First of all, please keep your blood pressure under control. It's one of the most important steps you can take to lower your risk. Secondly, exercise, maintain a healthy weight. The extra pounds increase your risk and losing even 10 pounds can help by improving cholesterol and also lowering blood pressure. And we talk about this all the time, but please quit smoking. It doubles your risk for a stroke because it increases clot formation and plaque buildup in arteries. And finally, again, eat healthy people, focus on vegetables, fruits, grains, and healthy protein. Limit added sugars, sodium, along with saturated trans and trans fats. Yeah, always good advice there. So how important is stroke rehabilitation? I know it's, it's super important as research shows that patients who really participate in focused rehabilitation programs do so much better than those who don't. It's also important to really start as soon as possible because the sooner you start, the more likely you regain back all your lost skills and abilities, and that's what it's all about. Yeah, the important information as always. Dr. Nandy, thanks. Enjoy your weekend. Hey, yeah, you too. Thanks so much. All right. If you have a question for Dr. Nandy or a health concern, you can email him, Dr. Nandy, at WXYZ.com or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter. <laughs> hey,